In this video, we're going to start the Evaluating Expressions Worksheet. This worksheet can be found on the CUDA software website. Select Free Worksheets and go into Algebra 1. So this is Evaluating Expressions in Algebra 1. So we're going to evaluate each using the values given. For number 1, it says y divided by 2 plus x. So we have to evaluate that expression and use x equals 1 and y equals 2. So x equals 1. That means we're going to take this x value of 1 and plug it in for x. So 1 goes in for x. Where it says y equals 2, we're going to take that 2 and plug it in for y. So that's going to give us 2 divided by 2 plus x, which is 1. We know from order of operations that we're going to do divisions first. So 2 divided by 2 will give us 1, and 1 plus 1 equals 2. So the answer for number 1 is 2. Let's go over to number 2. Number 2 says a minus 5 minus b. a is equal to 10, and b is equal to 4. So again, we're going to plug this 10, which is equivalent to a, or a is equivalent to 10, in for a, and we're going to take this b, which is equal to 4, and plug that in for b. So that's saying that this variable a is equal to the number 10, and this variable b is equal to the value or number 4. So 10, because that's a, minus 5, minus b, which we know is 4. 10 minus 5 is 5. 5 minus 4 is 1. So the answer to number 2 is 1. And if you didn't notice, I like to box my answers to separate it from the work. So each of my answers are boxed. Number 3 says p squared plus m. Use m equals 1 and p equals 5. So we're going to take this m value of 1 and plug it in for m. And we're going to take this p value of 5 and plug it in for p. So now instead of p squared, we're going to have 5 squared plus m, which is 1. Now according to order of operations, PEMDAS, we're going to do exponents before we do addition. So 5 squared is really 5 times 5. So if you need to think of that as 5 times 5, go ahead. So it's 5 times 5 plus 1. 5 squared is 25. So 25 plus 1 equals 26. So our answer to this question is 26. Let's move on to number 4. 4 says y plus 9 minus x. Use x equals 1 and y equals 3. So again, our x variable is going to be 1. So x has a value of 1, so we're plugging that 1 in for x in the expression. y has a value of 3. So we're taking 3 and plugging that in for y in the expression. So now we have y plus 9 minus x is 3 plus 9 minus 1. 3 in for y, 1 in for x. 3 plus 9 is 12 minus 1. 12 minus 1 is going to be 11. So for number 4, our answer is 11. 5 says m plus p divided by 5. m is equal to 1 and p is equal to 5. So our m is 1, so 1 gets plugged in for m, and our p has a value of 5. So 5 gets plugged in for p. So we have 1 plus 5 divided by 5. Order of operations says that we have to do division before addition, so 5 divided by 5 is 1. So we have 1 plus 1, which we know is 2. So our answer for number 5 is 2. Number 6 says y squared minus x, where x is equal to 7 and y also equals 7. So this x is 7 and this y is also 7. 
So we're going to have 7 squared minus 7. We have to do exponents before we do subtraction. So 7 squared is 49, and we still are left with minus 7. 49 minus 7 is going to be 42. So our answer for number 6 is 42. Let's go to number 7. Now 7 is a little different because instead of two variables, we now have three variables, but we're still doing the same thing. x is 6, so we're going to put 6 in for x. y is equal to 8, so we're putting 8 in for y. And now we have z. z is equal to 6, so we're plugging 6 in for z. So x and z actually have the same value. So we're going to do 6 times 6 plus y is 8. We have to evaluate what's in the parentheses first. So that's going to be left with 6 times 6 plus 8 is the 14. 6 times 14, when you do that out, you're going to get 84. So the answer to number 7 is 84. Number 8 also introduces something new to us. Let's look at it. We have x equals 9, so we're going to plug 9 in for x in the expression. However, we have two y values now. We have y and y, but both of those are the same value of 10. We just have two of them now. So when we write this out, x is 9, so 9 plus y is 10, plus another y is 10. So 9 plus 10 is 19, plus another 10 is going to be 29. So 19 plus 10 is going to give us 29. So our answer for 8 is 29. Although I want to show you another way to do this. Before we go ahead and plug in the y, Let's go ahead and simplify this expression. x plus y plus y is the same as saying 1x plus 2y, since y plus y is actually equal to 2y. So we have x plus 2y. Now, instead of plugging 10 in two different times, we plug it in only once. So we're going to have 9 plus 2 times 10. Then we just do multiplication first and get 9 plus 20, which we know is 29. So you can either plug in y immediately or simplify and plug it in only once. Next we have p cubed plus 10 plus m. Our m value is 9, so we're plugging 9 in for m, and our p is 3. So we're plugging 3 in for p. So plugging 3 in for p, we have 3 cubed plus 10 plus m, which is 9. Now 3 cubed is 3 times 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. So 3 cubed is 27 because we're evaluating that exponent first. Plus 10 plus 9. Let's go ahead and do 27 plus 10 to get 37 plus 9 and 37 plus 9 and that's going to be equal to 46. So 46 is the answer for number 9. Let's do one more and then we'll stop this video there. For number 10, we have 6q plus m minus m. So again, we have m twice in this expression. We can either take the value 8 and plug it in twice, or we can simplify first. Let's go ahead and simplify first. m minus m is just going to be 0. So we're going to be left in our equation with 6q plus 0, which we know to be 6q, because any number 
or any quantity added to zero is that original quantity. So now instead of plugging in m, we don't have m anymore. We just need to plug in q. And q is 3. So we're going to get 6 times 3. 6 times 3 is 18. So 18 is the answer for our evaluated expression in number 10. In this video, I only went over numbers 1 through 10. In the next video, I'll do numbers 11 through 20. And in the last video, so the third video that completes this worksheet, will be numbers 21 through 26. So stay tuned and go on to the next video. But before you do that, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel.